What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Today, we're talking about the getting to know you category of our daily questions for the 2021 Warboss Tay February painting challenge. If you are making your daily posts on the challenge and you roll a two on your D6, then this is the category you're going to be answering questions for. Of course, if you take a look at all the lists of daily questions and you enjoy any particular question from any category, you can answer that. You can answer all the questions. You don't have to answer any questions. It's just a random chart that I thought would inject a little bit of fun into your February painting challenge. So let's go over all the questions. If you have any, if anything sticks out at you that you're not sure about or you're unclear on, then leave me a comment down below. Before we get any further, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not, leave me a comment before you go and help me spread this video to more players out there. Okay, getting to know you. Number one, this is, remember this, each question goes for a day of the month from February 1st to February 28th. So on February 1st, tell us about your childhood home. Specifically, what do you remember about growing up there? I'm talking about like specific smells for breakfast or meals or specific sights or sounds, things that you remember about uh, growing up in your childhood home. Number two, tell us about a hobby or interest of yours that you haven't spent any time on recently. Not, of course, obviously not including miniatures. Number three, oh yeah, not counting miniatures, tell us about a hobby or interest that you currently enjoy. Number four, what famous influential figure or celebrity inspired you when you were younger? This should be someone you didn't know, but you read about or saw on TV that you really looked up to. Number five, who did you know in your own life that inspired you when you were younger? Number six, what do you do for fun when you're bored and you have a lot of energy? Number seven, tell us about your favorite trip or vacation. Number eight and nine repeats every week because they are weekly checkups and shout out videos. So number eight, how is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? Number nine, who's, oh, I gotta fix this who's, should be W-H-O-S-E. I'll fix it before the next video. <laughs> Whose project are you enjoying following and why? Number 10, describe the ideal weekend. I have a feeling if I get this one, I'm just going to say sleep. Lots and lots of sleep. Number 11, if you could have lunch with any historical figure, someone who actually lived throughout history. Uh, bef I'm thinking before your time, so going back through ancient history all the way to before you were born. Who would it be? Where would you go? What would you talk about? Number 12, describe a talent that you forgot you had. It could be a talent that you don't even have anymore because you're out of practice. It could be a talent that you still have for some reason. If it's like, you know, you're double jointed or I guess that would be a talent, right? Or, or anything you can do that you forgot that you could do, then uh, you can talk about it there. Number 13, when are you most content and at peace? February 14, what was your most memorable Valentine's Day? Tell us a story about it. Number 15, how is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? Number 16, whose who's project are you enjoying following and why? 17, tell us about your first memory. 18, if you had a magical vending machine that could create any food or drink in the world, what would be the first thing you'd order? 19, what is something you're good at that people may not know about? 20, who inspires you to succeed now? And number 19, something you're good at. It doesn't have to be like a talent. It could be something you've learned or a skill that you have um, that, you, uh, th that you've had to practice to get better at. It could be, yeah, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be something natural. It could be something you've uh, had to practice at and learn. Uh, 21, when you were a kid, what was your favorite snack food? Number 22, how is your project going? Do you think you'll be able to finish by the end of the month? 23, whose project are you enjoying following right now and why? 24, if you could spend an entire week as a ghostly observer, that means you can't be harmed or killed, where would you go? What historical event would you want to witness? And uh, I guess this could, this means like throughout history. So if you could spend a week in history, you don't have to worry about getting eaten by dinosaurs or having the uh, Mount Vesuvius erupt on you. Where would you go for a week? What would you what would you want to do? 25, where do you want to be in three years time? Three years from today, this day, February 25th, where do you want to be? 26, how do you plan on spending the next two days in order to finish your project? If you're already finished, what do you plan to do with the rest of your time? 27, as the final day approaches, send a final message of hope and encouragement 
to those at the home stretch and 28 congratulations you finished the challenge and our immortalized and hobbiton's hallowed hall of legends recap the month for us what worked for you what didn't what would you do differently show off your project and let the world cheer your dedication and commitment bravissimo well you guys that's it for this category it's a lot of personal reflective questions we've got you've got the hobby category that talks about your uh, being creative and creatively engaged in the hobby you've got the culture questions which are you know about movies and tv shows and things that you like to uh, uh, the different kinds of media that we consume and absorb and uh, i hope you enjoy it if you are taking part in this challenge let us know and uh, don't forget to join the discord forgot to mention that at the start of this video the Discord link is down below. If you are unfamiliar with the Warboss Tay painting challenge and what we do, click that Discord link. It'll take you to the uh, Discord server where you've got a bunch of uh, channels. You can tell us what your commitment is going to be, what do you plan on doing, and you can also check out all the daily questions for all the categories. They're going to be up there, and uh, that's where this video is going as well. Hope you're having a great day, everybody. Getting pumped. The, the February painting challenge is two weeks away. And uh, boot camp starts on Monday if you want to take part in that. And uh, I'm planning on doing maybe a live feed later today. This is Saturday at the time of filming. Just to uh, give everybody uh, a little a little bit of a pep talk before the beginning of the new week. A lot of crazy things going to be happening this week, I think. And it's uh, going to be a good one. So if you're taking part in the boot camp... That's five days, continuous days of posting. You can post on YouTube. Of course, you can just post pictures and update us in the Discord. Discord is a very e user-friendly, easy way to just throw up a picture or just uh, update us without having to do videos. I think Marshy is a great example of someone who just puts a lot of pictures up there. Ultramarines Painter as well. And so if you're not used to doing YouTube, like uh, David Moffat, Dicey Guy, and uh, some of us jam jar we like to film videos if you want to just do it on the discord you're totally free to do it there it's really going to be a great month for a project i think help us shake off these uh wintry blues and put aside all the craziness going on in the world okay stay tuned the next video is going to talk about the hobby daily questions for that we will see you then thanks for watching everybody have a great day latest players